let's talk about calculating pH. Get out your science notebook. Here's the essential question. How do you calculate pH? Let's remind ourselves what the pH scale is. The pH scale ranks substances on how acidic they are. In fact, the pH stands for the power of hydrogen. And hydrogen, if you recall, are typically what we find at the beginning of acids. Now, if you take a look at this pH scale here, the lower the numbers typically represents something that is more acidic, a stronger acid. The higher the number, we typically start to get weaker acids. In fact, eventually we get to a point neutral on the seven, which is a seven on the pH scale. And anything past seven, eight through 14, is no longer really even an acid, it's a base. Now the pH scale is logarithmic, which means that every time we go from one number to the next, it changes by a power of 10. Now I'm telling you that because we need to know how to use the logarithmic function on our calculators in order to calculate pH, and we'll get to that point. For now, here are two calculations on how to calculate the pH of a substance. The first one up here is for acids, meaning that we know it's an acid substance and we know information about the acid. Specifically, it says the pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydronium. Notice here we have H3O plus in square brackets. Square brackets represent the molarity of a substance, which is the same as the concentration. And then H3O plus is typically the ion that is what we associate with acids because there's a higher concentration of hydronium. Now bases, we can calculate the pH of bases as well, even though pH stands for the power of hydrogen. Because the pH is in a scale and the acids and bases really relate to one another, what we do is a little bit differently. First, we start off with the number 14, and then this time, instead of using the negative log, we're gonna add the log of the concentration of hydroxide. So again, just to reiterate, what thing makes things acidic is the concentrations of either hydronium or hydroxide. Hydronium H3O+, plus, if there's a higher concentration of those H3O plus particles, then it's an acid. On the opposite spectrum, if there's a low concentration of hydronium and a higher concentration of hydroxide, it's a base. We can see that here in this simulation. We have a solution over here, and the pH is neutral, meaning we have equal concentrations of both. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to increase the concentration of hydronium. Now, notice when I do that, the concentration of hydroxide, those little particles of OH, go the opposite direction. The same as if I flip it around. H3O plus and OH particles are inversely proportional, or in other words, hydronium and hydroxide are inversely proportional in both acids and bases. So let's go ahead and try to use that calculation. Let's actually calculate pH. If you wanna get out your calculator right now and follow along, you could. But here is a solution. Now we know the pH is two because we're using this probe right here. But what I wanna do is I wanna check to make sure that that's correct using the mathematical expressions or pH is equal to negative log of OH or of, of, of H3O plus. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So first I need to know the concentration of hydronium. This is an acid, so there's a lot more hydronium here than hydroxide. We could use hydroxide, but I wanna do hydronium because this is an acid. So I know that pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydronium. So all I need to do is plug that into my calculator. Negative log and then 1.0 times 10 to the negative two. That's going to confirm that the pH is actually two. Now, you might have one of these calculators or even a completely different calculator, and I wanna show you that most calculators have a log function on them. You might just need to find it. For these calculators, there's a specific button dedicated to the logarithmic function. For these other calculators, I might need to find it within a menu, like I might need to use the secondary button in order to use the log functions. Another important key or button that might be useful on one of your calculators is the negative button. In order to calculate pH, we need to calculate the negative log of something, and many calculators have a designated button to turn a number into a negative number. 
All right, so let's try this out yourself. Pull out your calculator. Let's determine the pH of this basic solution. Now, because it's a basic solution, I recommend you use the hydroxide concentration for this assignment, although you could technically use the hydronium concentration. So pause the video, see if you can figure out the answer to this question. Did you try it yourself? Well, here's how I would go about doing this. So first off, I'm gonna use the concentration of hydroxide. And then this time I'm gonna take 14 and I'm gonna add it to the concentration of hydroxide or the logarithmic of the concentration of hydroxide. Again, you could do the hydronium again, but I challenge you to use the concentration of hydroxide this time. And we got the pH of 11, so let's take a look. And indeed, the pH using the probe is 11. Well, that's the end of the notes. Take a moment to review and highlight key terms, ponder and ask questions, and summarize and answer the essential question. Good luck.